those families tonight. The families that refuse to leave Bucha, Ukraine, are now among the victims of Vladimir Putin's criminal assault. Today, he declared peace talks have reached a dead end, insisting Russia would continue this invasion. And top Russian tycoon in Ukraine, Viktor Medvedchuk, friends with Putin, his daughter's godfather, was arrested in Kyiv today. U.S. President Joe Biden? Yes, I called it genocide. He went further in a speech saying Russia is committing genocide. CTV's Daniel Hamamjin got a first-hand look at the investigation into atrocities today. Ukraine's Prosecutor General Irina Venediktova wants to punish who she believes are war criminals, those responsible for what she's about to show French forensic experts. At times, it's a media circus but Venediktova wants the world to see this up close. Those black charred bodies were once a mother and her two children. They've yet to be identified. These two men have names attached to them. They also have bullets that pierced through their bodies. My job is uh, justice, uh, is every, do everything for documentation, uh, documenting uh, evidence, then go to court and independent court should decide. Bucha has become synonymous with the brutality of this war. And when Russian forces still occupied this town, the morgue had become full and the bodies were piling up in the streets. Some say they saw dogs pulling apart bodies lying on the ground. Vladimir Putin only had one word to describe the Bucha massacres today. Fake. The Russian president promised his country would achieve all its military goals he described as noble. The rhetoric is all too familiar to Elena Bulaktina. She's a Russian-born Canadian doctor whose volunteer work also brought her to Bucha today. Her mother lives in Moscow. She supports Putin, obviously. She absolutely does not believe me. When Elena tries to tell her mother, Ukrainians her age have been living without heat, electricity or medicine. Well, we, we, we trade medications. Elena is told she herself is brainwashed. It's very necessary. Her sidekick is a retired military nurse from Quebec. It's been going on for weeks now and they're showing more distress, more savagery going on in this country and it seems like Nothing is really being done. So I said, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta do something. Today they're delivering medicine a few blocks away from the mass grave, treating those who survived. This woman is desperate for medicine for her diabetic husband. <laughs> On the way here, we walk by a hole in the ground, the same spot a woman recently found herself in when going to get water. When? A rocket was launched her way. Here she is now, buried in a patch of grass across the building she lived in. When the mayor of Bucha was asked today what he needed, his answer, coffins, hundreds of them. As for those Canadian medics, they're still waiting for one critical piece of equipment, armored ambulances from a company in Canada. Those vehicles, if and when they get here, will allow them to go to the front lines. Lisa. The need is just so enormous.